Uh, that was an adopt model. You know, like uh, on Twitter, there's sometimes gonna be adoptable design. And uh, my mama, my art mama, who is uh, Sippy Buns, she made this design. And okay. I fell in love with it. I'm like, holy shit. Because I had another design before that. But I didn't really feel it felt more like mommy. I guess, and I'm more, I guess, a gremlin, you know? I don't really have the mom vibes. Yeah. Like those YouTubers that have deep voice and all that. I, I um, would I would say that you're a combination of the two. You're a gremlin mother, you know I would so? say. <laughs> gremlin mother. Grandma mama, come on over here and get your chitlins. I'm going to get feed you some yeah. chicken milk and uh, you get your cookies over there. And it's going to be chaotic. Okay, that, that's, I, that's, I don't know where I just tried to go with that. I was trying to figure it out. Anyway, I mean, I could go uh, southern grandpa, but I don't think I could go grandma. <laughs> southern grandpa. <laughs> Leave him. You go get yeah, your butt back inside. Minutes. I'm gonna get you some meal. You know, you, have you clean wash oh your hands? God, wash your hands. Leave him. Oh no, no. Oh, what you doing out there with that boy over there? No, you keep me talking to the boy over the fence. What you doing talking to my boy over the fence? You gotta go back in this. You gotta go talk to the barn and go clear out the stand, the piles. What? You milk the chickens? How that possible, Leave him? That's not possible, Leave him. What the heck is that, Leave him? What you do that chickens for? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I just found that on Twitter, and I bought it immediately, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, it's a beautiful model. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I really like wow. it. I'm so, wow. I'm so happy and lucky that who I got did it. The, who did that? Wow sound. Who did that? Somebody wowed you, I think. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think that was silly. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That makes sense. But it is definitely a wow model. Like, holy cow. Oh, my. I'm trying. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. Oh. oh, no. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Oh no! Both of you stretch. Oh, did somebody do a stretch routine? I see you. I see you. She gone. No, she's back. She's back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're like lift from stretch. I'm like, all right. Oh my god. Okay, well, yeah. let me stretch. Damn, my, oh my back goodness. cracks and everything. Maybe I'm getting old too. Oh no, we're dinosaurs now. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, do you have any other like model designs or anything? Or are you mainly sticking to this yeah, model design? Yeah, I did. Well, I have actually another one right now. I can show you in Ooh. DMs. That's, yeah, I bought another one recently. And that's Ooh. the design. Oh! Okay, that's... Isn't it super cute? That's so cute! Oh my god! Oh, that's so... Right. Not... Oh my god. I can't even finish a sentence. It's so <laughs> nice! I know! And I, I, like... I love the sweater with the jacket design. That's so... Mm -hmm. And their hair, you notice how the hair are kind of like hanging on the horns too? Yeah! I love the little details. Like draping over and everything. That's nice. And it's a backless... Okay. So it's a Virgin Destroyer sweater. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh my gosh. Have you already gotten the model like uh, rendered or anything? No, no. I just got a design because uh, yeah, my wallet is also suffering from uh, game, So yeah. You gotta tell China, hey, stop taking my, stop taking my money. I need to fund my VTuber habit. <laughs> yeah. Her tail is invade, invade, invading V's space. Hey, Sarah, good to see you. Also, yeah, uh, your tail's invading my space. Live from. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I mean, I, I'm renting this space temporarily. We like Lifrom. That's true. I like Lifrom too. She's cool. <laughs> All right. So here's a question. So this is a this looks like a cow model. So are you gonna switch from chicken milk to a different kind of milk, or are you gonna be like the purveyor uh, no, of the chicken milk? No, I definitely keep chicken milk. Like I want to keep this model for sure. That be that's this is my main model. But yeah. that one would be I don't know like another persona or something like yeah. another Twitch. Definitely. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh my goodness. Is this Lifrim that carried Mount Overwatch too? Austin Altria. Yeah, that's me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah wait. They call me the uh, the carry. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, gotta say both of your designs are pretty nice, different enough that a lot of other VTubers could be recognizable yet not to overkill. Seven out of ten GGs. Hey, let's go. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. you. V, are you wearing glasses right now? How'd you know, Sarah? How do you know I'm wearing glasses right now? How? I can't see. Oh, actually, I can see without my glasses. It's just I need to be able to see Lifrum's <laughs> face so that I can be yeah, like, oh, too. this I'm is the person. Blind. <laughs> Yeah, apparently, Sarah, there's something called chicken milk. It's basically eggnog, which is weird because, mm -hmm. like, it doesn't... Okay. Big Chillin' tried to push campaign to fight Mother Whale. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, so here's a question for you. And now this is in the VTuber realm. Are there any VTubers okay. that you look up to? 
Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know if you know coconuts. Yes, I, really I like do. Coconuts. I love her. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, definitely look up to her and uh, also Lulu Narina and Lulu Narina. Um, yeah, she's an idol VTuber. I love her and I love her music. It's great. I feel like lose the glasses. Why should I lose the glasses? Anyway, uh, let's see. Lulu, I feel like I know that name. I'll have to look it up after the stream. But what was the mm -hmm. what was the other person? Uh, Coconuts and Lulu Maria and definitely like Iron Mouse. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. My friend Jessica. I love yep. Yusuke as well. She's a very good friend. And she's oh. a cat VTuber. I love oh. cat VTubers, so... Uh, okay, I have an obsession with cat VTubers. I don't know why. Cats and foxes and, like, other... I don't know. It's just super comfy to look at. And super fun. <laughs> yeah. it's usually, the, the content's cool, too. I have to keep saying okay. the content, too, because then otherwise people are going to be like, yeah, you look at the model. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> the content, quote-unquote. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yes, I look at the content. Not just... Well, I definitely look at the model. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. The Nikkei player. Okay. Oh my goodness. Very wholesome. Very I look at all three. Humor. I look at all three things. I look at the content, I look at the content, and then I look at the content. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like Groundhog VTubers. Is there a Groundhog VTuber? I don't think I've heard about any. I yeah. think Mr. Pickle is just trolling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I feel like if there's a Groundhog VTuber, there has to be a guy with a bazooka that's constantly trying to kill you, saying, like, Groundhog Day! <laughs> I feel like that has to be the situation. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, let's go! Yep. Let's see. Uh, why it's like, I like a sea demon succubi with the, by the name of Lifrum. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I've heard about that person. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, she's a really, really interesting yeah. individual. Really interesting mm -hmm. individual. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, here's another VTuber question for you. Is there a VTuber that inspired you to become a VTuber? Uh, Okay, so funny story, you know, the VTuber Luna Arena that I was talking about? Yeah. Um, I was actually watching her, I was doing some stuff, like, relationship-wise stuff, and I was like, damn, it must be so cool to be a VTuber. I was like, wait, you know, I could do that too. It just <laughs> would take time, obviously, because it's a lot of money, but... Yeah, and so then she pretty much inspired me, and she's the reason why I even got into VTubing in the first place. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, that's amazing. That's, okay, the funny thing, I also got inspired by another, like, a similar kind of situation. I got inspired by, like, a Hollow Live Japan edition VTuber. Mm. Who was it? It was, um, Suise. Mm. Yeah, and I was like, that's, what the heck is this? And I, because the thing is, I just stopped being a YouTuber because I thought I was going to quit. And then I was just like, okay, this is kind of interesting. So I jumped in. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I saw like uh, V Shoujo. And I'm like, yeah. oh, that's really cool. Part two interview would be hype. Heck yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm trying to interview more people and like eventually do like collabs and stuff and like get some games going or something and, you know, just have some general fun. Yeah. I'm sorry, you just found out my ulterior motive to inviting you here. Uh, and don't worry, there's no basement, there's no chains. I'm not gonna like put her over there and just go like, she won't leave ever. No, I'm not a weird Thanks. person, I promise you. I'm a perfectly normal paradox. That's perfectly Surely. normal. Uh, and that is the sad bit that I've kind of been researching is like some people view male VTubers as creeps or as like people I that don't, don't really why. deserve to be VTubers. I'm like, what the heck are you mm -hmm. talking about? And that I feel like was a little bit of something that got to me because I, I had seen some comments. I was actually considering graduating a week ago because of those comments. I was just like, Really? You know what? I'm coming back. I don't care anymore. I'm just, I'm gonna yeah. do what I do and have fun. And the haters. Yeah. My yeah. version of chicken milk would be rat poison. What the heck is wrong with you, Mr. Pickle? What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> My root beer exploded. No! No! I'm become a stick bug VTuber. I feel like a, there is one already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jer Jerry, why are you wiping your forehead? Why are you so nervous? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, wait, what time is it? 8.45. Okay, we got, got time. Mm -hmm. All right, so, my goodness, we're having fun. I'm, uh, time is flying when we have fun, honestly. <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, we're in good company. Yeah, well, you're... Okay, I'm trying not to get overexcited, because this does happen, and this does sometimes cause me to go into chaos mode. So I, okay. I will occasionally <laughs> o become overly friendly, and people are like, just tone it down a bit. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep it civil. Chaotic. What's civil? So I'll be... Okay. <laughs> Let me mellow out for a second. Okay. Now, next question. 
what VTuber, okay, if you had to, what other version of a VTuber would you be? Like, if other than a C, like a C VTuber? Oh, uh, well, definitely the design I showed you or cat VTuber, like... Like you were saying, cat VTubers, they have my heart. It's like my weakness. I just love cat VTubers. They're great. Absolutely. I can imagine mm -hmm. you as a cat I VTuber, actually honestly. Want to right. Right. That's what I was saying. I want to toggle the cat ears for my model. Yeah. Well, I can imagine you as a taco cat. <laughs> a taco cat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, a minute. Uh, I like Z. I like Zix's avatar. Reminds me of those attractive protagonists girls will fight over. I mean, yeah, maybe, kind of. Oh my. Taco Lifrim. Oh my gosh. V, can you direct me to the nearest house to burn? No, absolutely not. Sort of online guy. If you look cool. Okay, lore drop for you guys. This model was actually inspired by the Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet character creator mode. I made this character. I was like, this is really cool. I took screenshots. I'm like, hey, can somebody make this for me? And yeah, this is literally from a character creation menu. So from Sword Art Online. So Sony has an eye for Sword Art Online right there. Oh, I love Fatal Bullet. Fatal Bullet was awesome when it was around. And then they shut down the multiplayer server. I'm like, come on. Uh, I would be a blob slime VTuber. That's Jerry. If I had something outside my self, self Sona. What is self Sona? Okay. What, are you going to reincarnate as a Sona slime and pick up a whole bunch of like girls and stuff like that? Like the anime? Yeah. Reincarnated as a slime? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, the fu here's the weird thing is that I feel like I could be an anime protagonist. I look like a potential like protagonist. Like a, a potential anime protagonist, but in my head, I'm like, I'm the background character. I want to be in the background. And is it weird if I'm like, I don't want to mess with like all those stories and shenanigans that the main character goes through? Like, hmm. well, I, I mean, if like we think, you know, like B Zero, for example, he went through so much. I don't think. I would have been either. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like, I just want to do my homework, go home, eat some hamburger, go to bed, go back to school. Mm -hmm. I don't need to wake up, find like an alien on top of me, and then get abducted, then told I'm like the leader of the universe or in the running for it. Then every girl suddenly starts coming after me and every guy suddenly hates me. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, Sid from the Shadow and Eminence. Okay, I have a problem with Shadow and Eminence. There's a lot of, okay, it, okay. Tell me if this sounds weird. I'm not a fan of harem anime. Yeah, to be honest. The only yeah. one I really like it was Three Zero, I think. Yeah, that one was or pretty- Or Isekai in general, I'm not a fan of. Yeah. Yeah, I like some isekai are okay, but I'm really just not a fan of just like all these girls are going after this one guy and he's either an idiot or he's really into it. And I'm just like, no, nah, just yeah. go for the one girl, please. I beg of you, choose yeah. one because it-, it Like uh, the girlfriend or something. <laughs> exactly. And just like flip a coin between the top two and just see what happens, please. <laughs> Because it's just like, my head can't wrap around the concept of more than one. Also, the chaos of it. It's just like, mm -hmm. all the girls are acting, like, I had one other person that came in. And they're like, it's like if all the girls of a high school became mean girls, but not mean girls for the one popular kid that actually doesn't know that he's popular. Yeah. And I'm just like, just be normal people. Like, interact normally. You don't have to act like you're insanity. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I feel like all Isakai are harem. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah, because I think they're trying to go for that loophole of like, oh yeah, in the real world, you can't have multiple people. But in the Isakai world, you can have multiple. I'm like, eh, loopholes. Let's see. Mushuku Tensei, greatest Isakai ever. What was that one? Wait, Rosario so, uh, Vampire Peak? What? <laughs> Interesting. Nisakoi Wait. was a good one. I actually really like Nisakoi. What was Nisakoi again? It's like, a, it's a guy in the mafia and then he has to put like fake dating another girl that her father is also mafia as well then oh he have yes him, like there's like four other girls that likes him okay yeah i kind of liked that one a little bit mm. the problem is like they never revealed who the key belonged to like who the locket was and then they left well, it they on do a in the manga well, I, wasn't it like the key got stuck in there and like... I don't remember. I just... Who won? <laughs> okay. 
Wait, who did win? It was uh, Chitoch, the blonde hair girl. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling. Like, they were laying a lot of, like, story that it was that situation. Yeah. But imagine if, oh, like... she was my friend, so... Yeah. But thing is, um, I I honestly liked the girl he liked originally because I'm like, hey, oh, on the era? yeah, because the, the the thing is, is like he didn't know who gave her him the locket, but and he was hoping it was her that gave him the locket, and he actually had a genuine crush, and then like he started evolving a thing for uh, what was her name again? Tito. Tito. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I don't. It just felt. A little forced for me, a bit. Mm, I can see. Like I can, I can, I see, can see like the friendship development, but at the same time, I'm just like, like you develop this side character so much, and then all of a sudden, you're just like, no, mm -hmm. that that. And I feel like that's why a lot of like harem anime kind of like leave it on a cliffhanger, because they know if you actually put a name to the f final girl, like people are gonna get sad or angry or happy, depending on what's going on. Yeah. And actually, I feel like that may have been the issue with the quintuplets. Like, when people... Oh. Yeah, when they said who the final girl was, everybody was like, they didn't build her up! They didn't do anything! Like, I'm yeah. just like, the one girl that they didn't put any information in, or barely any, gets it. I'm like, I didn't really care. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was good. Uh, like, it, it shows, like, quintessential quintuplets was so peak. And I'm like, true, but I feel like they went a bit far when, like, the actor girl, like, the actor sister started impersonating the other sisters. Mm -hmm. Like, that felt either scummy or, like, a little bit... Like, it felt like a character assassination almost. Like, I feel like she wouldn't be the kind of person to do that but i don't know pressure washer what the okay you're gonna get me mad for the pressure washer aren't you i tried pressure washer simu oh oh my god it did it again no no oh i'm back i think you see me oh you should be in a second there we go pressure washer okay. simulator killed me because i'm like i could be doing this in real life and making real money why would i be making doing this for fake oh wait somebody somebody's like what is your thoughts on one piece uh oh. well Lif Lifrim, what, what's your opinion on One Piece? I mean... I Is it real? Know. Is the One Piece real? Oh my gosh, Lifrim, you're in the sea, you gotta know. <laughs> well, actually, the One Piece was the friends we made along the way. Nah! You're not gonna mm -hmm. friendship this! You're not gonna make it on the way! <laughs> no way! Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh my... I feel like One Piece could have wrapped up in three seasons, honestly. It's it's been a little bit long, yeah. The you know there are what one K or one thousand one hundred episodes or something. I feel so bad for those animators too, because there was that special that showed like the the conditions that like animators were put under for the animating studios. I'm just like no, 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 just no. Don't don't do that. Yeah. Oh my God. One Piece will never end. Hey, if P if Family Guy can end, if Simpsons can end, I don't think Simpsons ended. If Family Guy can end, I'm pretty sure One Piece can end. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I thought it was close to the end, but they've been saying that for a while now. I, I think. mean, they, they made a live action movie that, and it actually didn't bomb. Apparently, that's peak. Mm -hmm. You gotta make the final season. Yeah. All right. So here's gonna be some interesting questions for you, and then we. Let's see. How long? How much longer do you have? By the way, I got. I better ask before we go crazy here. <laughs> uh, I'm I having too like much fun. Fifteen minutes, maybe. Okay. I'm having too much fun. This is fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So we got some fun questions, and then we're gonna open up All the floor right, to chat time. to ask some questions. So here's a question for you. What is your favorite food? Mm, I'd say either tea or ramen. Or mm -hmm. was there really like I was recently. Wait, what? Soft shell tacos. Oh, okay. Ever since I discovered mm -hmm. soft shell fish tacos, they are so good. I've never had the fish one. Okay. I usually get ground beef tacos. Okay. I would recommend this to you, okay? You will, it will no. change your life. What you gotta do <laughs> is get a hold of either grouper or mahi mahi. Mm -hmm. Chop it up okay. very finely. Get a flour tortilla. Uh, um, basically fry it in some nice oil. Not nothing heavy, like maybe a little bit of light. Then mm -hmm. cook up some um, jasmine rice, and then use a. Uh, you can use whatever oil that you want, but I would recommend either olive oil or um, some kind of oil or olive oil base. Then get some bacon bits. Well, actually, that's for a different oh. thing. Or, or you could do bacon bits. Actually, you could do either. 
or not sausage, um, shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then put, what you want to do is get the fish uh, as the second thing. Put in the rice base, then the fish, then the taco bits. And you put it on Mm -hmm. one end of the, of the, the shell. Then you roll the shell. And it's right in the center. It will change your life how delicious this is. And don't make it like super Sounds crunchy, good. but make it like, you know, a little crunchy, but enough where you can move it. It is yeah, not too the much. best thing in the world, honestly. But. Holy cow. All right. <laughs> now we got the... Uh, I don't know where that knowledge came from. Like, all right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. What is your favorite... Bum, 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 bum. What is your favorite kind of content? Uh, content like to watch or to make? Uh, watch and make. Well, for I think for both. Well, to watch definitely horror. I love like horror games. Uh, like Casey playing horror video games or XQC. I love all those. They I would put them like while I do edit stuff or Photoshop stuff. I put them on in the background. It's so. Oh, it's just fun to me. I'm a horror game uh, enthusiast. Oh. And I also really like to play horror games, so probably that for content or gacha games. You know, I, I love my big boobs. Yeah. Man, so. Okay. Yeah. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Here's the thing. I used to like horror games, but then I had, like, this weird thing happen to me at, like, the beginning of the year, and it just kind of changed, like... I don't know, like the way my heart beats is a little bit weird mm. or like my blood pressure. So anytime I'm in a horror game, it's like really stresses me out, but yeah. I'm, ki- I'm kind of getting over it. So I might go back into phasmophobia or something. I'll figure it out. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, hey, heavy firestorm. Good to see you're back. Hello, hello. I can cook that as a special. Uh, no, I'm, st- I'm learning to cook. I will get there eventually. <laughs> Uh, let's see, bacon bits and salad are so good. They're the only thing that make me eat a salad. That and fried chicken. Heck really? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm trying to be more healthy, but I'm hating it. But at the same time, I need to <laughs> like it. Uh, Mifra is cracked at DVD. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at DVD. I've played for a long time, so... Ooh, well... Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to find like a multiplayer like horror game that you know we could collab with, maybe possibly. You know, yeah. maybe not. I'm trying everything. Chat, help me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but we'll figure out something. We'll figure it out. Let's see. I taught her. Ooh, Plastic U. Wait, did Plastic U teach you how to do DVD? No. <laughs> oh, you liar! He didn't. You liar! You're He's as fake. Fi- you're as fake <laughs> as the plastic that you're made of. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the Outlast trials. Oh my. That'd be... I feel like that might be a bit too much for me. Phasmophobia is probably the <laughs> max I can do at this point. Mm. All right. Uh, I got two more questions, then we'll open it on up to the chat to ask any questions. And that could be for anybody. All right, let's see. Okay. Two more questions for you. Here's the first question of the last question. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? And I get to choose what the penalty for having that power would be. Mm, well, my chat hates me for this, but I always say if I could be in- invisible, then you know, it most likely be also invincible because people can't see it anyway. So I say invisible. Okay, That's well, what I choose. Fish. But the American government literally like detonates bombs in those ocean multiple times. So I'm pretty sure they don't have to see you. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get nuked. Like if they can figure out where you are at least, you're gone. Like there's no way. Also what if they don't know who I am. They'll know who you are, Lifra. They're gonna know who you are. Like I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're know. gonna know. Like if you can get caught like exactly. Like a chat back me up on this. There, if there was the Invisible Man, like from the Invisible Man movie, like, you know, the one with the, the bodysuit that became invisible, but make it, like, natural, where you can go invisible. Yes, if you bump into anybody, and they're, like, aware, they're like, oh, shoot, I just bumped into something invisible. Or, like, oh, yeah, hit by a bus. You don't look left and right. You go straight forward. Boom. <laughs> and how would you get on a plane? I'll be very careful. Very ca- super, super careful. Okay, well, how would you... Stay in the house. Oh my gosh, staying in the house. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, but DoorDash, how would you do DoorDash? Like, they knock on the door and hand it to you. Uh, well, I'd say just put it, in, you know, in front of the door. That's what I usually do anyway. And house. you're gonna let the grasshoppers get to it? Why would you do that? Well, I'll be right behind the door, like, waiting, you know, like, stalking almost. Just waiting for my food. Right oh behind my. it. And as soon as they leave, boom, I take it. Oh my gosh. Well, imagine you have to Uber somewhere. Well, 
I've never taken Uber. I think once in my life. That's relatable. I've only taken it once at the end of like an <laughs> event. Because I'm like, I don't want to be in some stranger's yeah. car. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. No. I can just walk. Exactly. She has a fair point. Okay. Okay, then. See? House explodes. Game <laughs> over. Oh, well, yeah, but there has to be a reason for the, the, the house to explode. Yeah. Like, if you leave the gas on for too long and decide, you know what? I'm going to light fireworks indoors for the first time ever. <laughs> you know what? I found this yeah. weird puffer fish at the bottom of the ocean. It has this weird ticking sound in it. I was like, it's prickly and everything. And for some reason, this magnetic thing keeps attaching to it. Oops, I actually pushed in one of the pins. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> The pin cushion! I like to call that the un the forbidden pin cushion. Oh my god. My goodness. Like, I want to touch it. Don't touch it, Jeremy! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, the pen that, that would be your penalty, is that things are naturally attracted to you. So even though you're invisible, things will be naturally mm. attracted to you. Mm, okay. I can deal with that, yeah. I think. What? Just say, no! Never! No! No! Stop it! Back away! <laughs> no! Yeah. All right. Exactly. <laughs> we have one final question before we open the floor to chat to ask you or me or both of us questions. The first question, oh, actually, the last question for me is if you had to choose a color scheme other than what you currently have, you can incorporate maybe one color from your color from your new color scheme, what would it be? Uh, I think either black and purple or black and red. I mean, you do some, like, way more black. So kind of like my color is black and red. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you already have per uh, like black and purple, so. Okay, then then black and red. There you go. Or you could do black and white, honestly, like yeah, a cuddle, like a cuttlefish. Black and red, like Itachi. <laughs> black and purple goes hard. Yes, the black light colors. Mm. I like to call those the black light colors. They are so cool. Like if you make yeah. like the primary color black and the side colors purple. Oh, so good. It. Black and mm. orange. Are we in prison? Like, what are we doing here, Mr. Pickle? Why are you choosing the prison colors? Don't do that. Or Tony the Tiger colors. That could be a thing. What, are you going to oh, tell yeah. me that the cereal that you have is great? Because I'm pretty sure it creates diabetes, so it's not that great. Yeah. I mean, Lifram alone can generate of multiple people diabetes. So. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Now, we open it up to the chat. Feel free to ask us any general questions. You can ask Lifram, me, both of us. Or you can ask, uh, you know, just general questions on like, do you do something? Uh, are you looking for something? Future plans, random questions. Are you ever gonna throw away the chicken milk that you put in the mini fridge on the boat near Neptune? And I'll just say no, cause I got it from Lifram, which is a lie. Mm -hmm. So we'll figure it out. All right, let's see. Are you? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Are looking at a possible new Z model color scheme? Uh, color scheme, no. Model, yes. I am basically looking to get the new model that I've put on Twitter and Twitch and other places. Um, it's basically, I like to call it Paradox Punk. It's a very interesting one. Oh my goodness. Wait. And there is the, there is the hamburgers again. Hamburger cheeseburger Big Mac Whop. My goodness. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, let's see. Oh, geez. Uh, does not create diabetes. It is part of a nutritious breakfast. No, it create. It does create diabetes. It was proven. My question <laughs> is, what are your thoughts on Hinata Hugva? I or Huga? I have no idea who that is. It's uh, the shy girl in Naruto. Oh, is that the pink-haired girl? No, that's Sakura. She's the black-haired girl. Oh. Oh, she's the black uh, black-haired girl. Okay. I yeah, think she's. she's really shy. I think she's a decent person. Like, I, she took the right route to get to Naruto. Sakura needed to take a more direct approach and be a little bit more active in her interest, in my opinion. Yeah. My question is, what is your favorite One Piece? I don't have one. I've never even seen a single episode of One Piece. I've only heard the rumors. <laughs> I don't want to get sucked into the search for the One Piece. How much water do you drink a day? Um, let's just say, let, let me put it to you this way. I drink enough water to feed a gerbil, but not enough to sustain human life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Do you guys have any <laughs> goals for the end of the year? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, do Should you... I go first? Yeah, go for it. I mean, I haven't answered most of the questions. Uh, definitely Twitch partner. I think I'm so close to being Twitch partner, so I definitely want to do that before the year. But even if we don't get it um, at the end of the year, then, you know, we always have next year and then the year after that for sure. Yeah, I would say my goal is similar. Uh, we're almost a 5k over on YouTube. 
So that is my goal by the end of the year to either get 5K or around at least 10, uh, maybe even get YouTube partner. Um, but I am looking to get partner eventually. I just feel like it'd be a great achievement and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Favorite One Piece. Don't got it. Blue hair. What? Blue hair. What the heck? Who's punching people? Okay. I throw a gerbil. Why are you throwing gerbils? <laughs> Lifrim will get partner. I believe it. I believe it too. I fully Thank believe you. that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so fun fact, I stepped away, but still had my headphones on. And when the notification came through, it was so loud. It literally made me jump. Oh my. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. I feel like we need to have like a skit, like a comedy skit where you get rehired by McDonald's. And I'm just like, oh. I'm, I'm like a Burger King employee. And I'm just like, hey. He's still serving like that artificial meat <laughs> and you're just like well at least I, I know that I'm the actual king of fast food <laughs> yeah oh my yeah. gosh there are so many skits I can figure out it's amazing mm -hmm. oh. or like I go fishing and like I accidentally like get you on a hook and you're just like can you oh not <laughs> Can you not do that? <laughs> oh my gosh, a crossover would go crazy. That would be fun. That would be fun. Lifrim and Mr. Zix collab for video or short when? That would be fun. I am trying to get into more collabs. I'm just rusty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a rat burger off? Oh my gosh. <laughs> a rat burger. <laughs> oh my gosh. I made a rat burger. I made a gerbil burger. I made a human burger. What? What? Oh, what? Uh, what? Wait, uh, what? Hey, you just see the I you just see the FBI. Uh, do you want to repeat that? No, not at all. No, no, officer. No, not at all. Uh, I just want to say, uh, I got this this burger inventory from uh this sea devil Lifrum. Uh she uh, I don't know what where she got it. She said she sang a song and these guys nearby on a boat just crashed and like left these yeah. burgers around. So uh, it's weird though. They had like these earrings and like I think I'm pretty sure there's lipstick in one of them. It was weird. Like, <laughs> and you're just over there sweating. Just, oh my gosh! Stop! Why? Whole like rats. Oh my god. Man, people are like going crazy. Oh, I will want. Mm -hmm. to, I want to eat a human burger. Okay, Mr. Pickle. <laughs> I, I I am very certain that you're like an off spin of like Pickle Rick, and uh, he's having issues. Oh yeah, he's a. Uh, sometimes he just goes a, a little crazy. Oh, you know, for, forgive him for that. You know. Oh it's no no no! Uh, you're you're yeah. amongst the crazy. Like we are chaos incarnate. Like that. Mm -hmm. We we live for the crazy. To be honest. Yeah. Alrighty. Anybody else have any remaining questions? for us any questions at all and uh, we're not going to ask certain questions but you don't want to know those questions you don't want to know those answers you don't want to know you don't want to know what the dimensions are you don't want we are we are venom no i hope not i don't want to become like uh, okay lifram would you want to become a symbiotic like host what what's that like, you know, if, if you took on the Venom symbiote... Is it like a Marvel's reference? Yeah. Like Basically, would you let your body get taken over by alien ooze to become a monster? Does it have tentacles? Uh, not really, no. Then no. Okay. <laughs> Well then, uh, favorite gamer subs flavor, uh, anime girl thigh slaps. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> you know, I like the pina colada flavor. It's really nice. <laughs> and it's not as acidic. <laughs> Yeah, I've never had gamer stuff. I want to try. I want to try the Shadowly one. Mm, well, next TwitchCon, I'm probably going to pop over. Oh, I can't afford this TwitchCon. TwitchCon after next TwitchCon, I'm going to find the booth and like see my different flavors there. Yeah. Lifram already is a parasite. What the heck? <laughs> she ain't a parasite. <laughs> See, he's my number one hater. He comes to every stream just to bully me. Oh my goodness. This is for Zix. Uh, have you ever tried Raising Cane's? Okay, this is funny. I've tried Church's Texas Chicken. It is delicious, okay? But I have yet to try Raising Cane's. I know where one is. I just need to get it. But I have heard so many good things about it. Wait, anime really, girl I've thighs? Heard that it's really cream? bad. Really? Yeah. Like, the sauce is made and all that. Well, here's the thing. I'm not a fan of sauce at all, so I like chicken dry. Mm. Unless I have, Holy. like, um, what's it called? Not prosciutto. Prosciutto would be good, though, if that would be an improvement. Um, I have no idea what it's called. I can't remember. I haven't had it in a while. Church's isn't even a fraction as good as Cane's. Okay, now I gotta try it. Now I gotta <laughs> try it. Get Cane's? I think okay. I she's overhyping it a little bit. Who? Uh, Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt, okay. 
Yeah. Like, okay. He doesn't even like tiles and all that. What? Very picky. Yeah, I know. Okay, Wyatt. You're on my yeah. list, buddy. You're on my list of overhypers. <laughs> like, I, this is making me a bit agitated. You can't just say that about fast food. I worked in fast food. Yeah. I worked for Chick-fil-A before they went back to antibiotic chicken. They were delicious. <laughs> Douche frim. Excuse me. Wow. 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 <laughs> okay. Church's is quite popular. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I'm no overhype. Kane's is peak. Okay, I gotta try it now. Source, trust me. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I think that is it. Unless the rest of you guys have any other questions. If you do, feel fry. Feel fry. Oh my gosh, I need fried so chicken. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out over either on my Discord or Lift Room's Discord. By the way, everybody, uh, most of you are from Lift Room's thing, so feel free to check out her YouTube channel, Twitter, Twitch, all those things. Feel free to check out her content. Use her codes. Do you have any codes that you want to promo? Uh, no, I don't have any codes, actually. Really? I need to get some. Yeah, I don't have any codes. Okay, I would recommend reaching out to <laughs> um, Gamersups. Um, they, yeah, they would, they'll I just give you... Them. Here's the thing. I've tried to work with Gamersubs for a while, but I think because, like, a lot of other uh, popular VTubers work with Gamersubs, like, everybody's already using their code. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I, I have a code, but it's, like, the general use code. You guys have probably seen it in the in the chat there uh, for infantry. It's basically the basic code. If you get enough infantry usages, you're able to get promoted to use your own code. Oh. Lifrim needs a gamer subs code. What would you call it? Yeah. We're like uh, mm -hmm. clam sauce or something, or like I don't know. the the lift <laughs> lift sauce. <laughs> well, I know if I had a gamer sub flavor, it definitely would be chicken mix. Yeah, so probably, like, probably, mm -hmm. most likely, yeah. most likely. Oh my gosh, that'd be fun. I don't even know what I yeah. call mine. I, I, probably just Paradox. It's like a, a blank, it's right. like a clear translucent powder. People are like, what the heck is this? I'm just what like, whatever <laughs> you want it to be. <laughs> just add your, add other powder with this powder. And they're like, is this literally like flavorless powder that you add another powder to? I'm like, shh, it's a Paradox. You make it whatever you want to be. <laughs> oh my, pair it with chicken milk and just like, this tastes like chicken milk. I'm like, yes, it became chicken milk and improved Ooh. it slightly. How did it improve it? <laughs> it removed any negative byproducts. <laughs> You're faking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, check out my links too. Uh, I don't want to self overly self promo, but you know, check out the links. Check out Lift Room's links. Check out our content when we go live or make any videos and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Get Lift Room to partner. Get me to partner. Because we're going to yeah, be partners yeah, in crime. We're going to be yes. partners in crime above the ocean waves. <laughs> All right, Silver the Hedgehog. What the heck? Life sauce is crazy. Oh, my God. Gamer Subs chicken milk would go so hard. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, uh, do you have any closing words? Um. Well, thank you for having me. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, that's... that's, that's uh, yeah, that's about it, honestly. <laughs> But yeah, well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I think I'm going to go on a break temporarily, and then we're going to be jumping into No Man's Sky, checking out the brand new wa uh, Aqua update. Um, so I'm, I'm only going to be gone for a little bit. If you guys want to stick around, feel free to do so. But if you were just here for Lift Room, I don't mind at all. Don't mind, don't mind honestly. Because you know what? It's, it's a pleasure to meet your community, Lift Room. Your community was awesome. It's always fun. Checking out other people and seeing their awesome stuff. Uh, I might comment on your next video or I might pop into your next stream and go like, hey, let's go. Chicken. <laughs> no, hold the milk <laughs> and we'll see what happens. So, thank you so Just much. For, yeah. Well, thank you so much for popping in. You're an absolute pleasure. You nailed it. You nailed the interview. Uh, and hopefully so we'll be able to do some, some future stuff in the future. It was a blast. I've been watching your face. I've not only the face. <laughs> kind of hard to look too. only at the face, but it was the face. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching. Oh, thank you for the hugs. I do appreciate it. I will be going on a temporary break and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for having me. Thank you.